The Lincoln Project, a Republican super PAC critical of President Trump, says it saw its biggest single-day fundraising haul yet after the president repeatedly blasted the group on Twitter earlier this week. Reed Galen, a member of the Lincoln Project's advisory committee, told CNBC the group raised $1 million in a day after Trump's tweets, which took aim at the group over its anti-Trump ad titled, Morning in America. A group of rhino, Republicans in name only, Republicans who failed badly 12 years ago, then again 8 years ago, and then got badly beaten by me, a political first-timer, 4 years ago, have copied, no imagination, the concept of an ad from Ronald Reagan, Morning in America, Trump tweeted early Tuesday. In a follow-up tweet he blasted several individual operatives affiliated with the Super PAC, including Republican strategists Rick Wilson and Steve Schmidt, as well as George Conway, the husband of White House counselor Kellyanne Conway and a frequent critic of the president. Galen told CNBC the ad in question has continued airing on cable markets in the Washington, D.C. region since Tuesday and that it will begin airing in swing states next week. The group has also aired an ad in support of former Vice President Joe Biden in Wisconsin and Michigan in recent weeks, according to the network. The group also announced Wednesday that it will run ads against some of Trump's top allies in the Senate. Thanks to Trump, we'll keep Morning in America running longer, then get back to our regular programming, which will include more assaults on Trump's record and going after some of his most ardent enablers in the Senate, John Weaver, another co-founder of the group, told Newsweek. He did not specify which senator or senators the ads would target. 